Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. We are looking today at what size needles you need to use with chunky yarn. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We are looking at yarn and needles today. Which size do you use with which yarn? And specifically, we're looking at chunky yarn today. Just want to show you what happens if you use different size needles with the same yarn and how you can work out which ones you want to use, whether that's by following the pattern, following the, what it says on the ball band, or by making a choice for yourself because you want to be creative. So first of all, there are lots and lots of yarn videos I have already on my channel. If you want to go and have a look, there's a Yarn 101 playlist, so you can go and have a look at that. If you subscribe below, you'll find it easier to find. Just go and have a look at my channel and into the playlist and you'll see the Yarn 101 playlist. So what size needles do you use for chunky yarn? I do have quite a lot. <laughs> I've been knitting for a long time and I've kind of accumulated them all. Some of them I've inherited. These cute ones are from my grandmother. Lovely little metal coloured ones. And I've got all of these new wooden bam bamboo ones. So, which ones do you use? I've filmed something for you so you can just have a look at how it all works when you're using different needles with the same yarn. Okay, what have I got here? Well, you may be able to tell from the colour, but every single one of these samples is knitted from the same yarn. It's all knitted from this leftover chunky yarn that I had from a couple of projects I was um, knitting in the winter. And the purpose of this is to show you how different the fabric looks when you knit with different size needles. So this chunky yarn is generally recommended on the ball band and in patterns that you knit with six and a half millimeter needles down to five and a half millimeter needles. One of these or both of these will usually be recommended if you're knitting a pattern with chunky yarn. So if you're picking up yarn and needles for the first time and you want to knit a scarf, you can put 20 stitches on your needle and you will have um, six and a half millimeter needles. Just go for it, start knitting. You will have a nice piece of fabric but if you knit with larger needles, these are eight millimeters, you will have a large piece of fabric when you're finished and it will feel looser. And you can see more holes in it. It will be more stretchy. It will just be a larger piece of fabric when you finish knitting because the larger needles are making those stitches bigger every time you create a new stitch. So that is a larger piece of fabric, it's a looser piece of fabric if you knit with larger needles than are recommended for the yarn. And completely opposite, if you knit with smaller needles, you're going to have a denser, harder, look at that, I can fold that in half and it's barely moving. It is really stiff, it's close together, all of those stitches are close together, look at them. Um, and that is because I was knitting with needles that are 3.25 millimetres. Those tiny needles with the same yarn had created a piece of fabric that is totally different. So yes, you can be creative and do what you like. Like I said, if you're putting stitches on a needle and you just need to start knitting without a pattern, with an end goal such as a scarf, then if you like a loose one, use thicker needles. Really choose what you like and be creative. But if you're following a pattern, don't follow what the ball band says. Follow what the pattern says, because that is going to give you the nearest, closest result to what the designer wants you to have. That may, may mean that you're knitting with larger needles, with smaller needles, but it's the result that the designer has created for this. They've been creative. Probably 95 times out of 100, it will be the needles that, is rec that are recommended on the ball band as well. But that other time when the designer has said, I really fancy a loose fabric, I'll knit with something larger. I really fancy a dense fabric. We need to have that structure in place. Let's knit with smaller needles. It may not be extreme as these, but it will give you the result that the designer wants. So follow what the ball band says, but only if it has the same result that the designer wants from the pattern. 
So I hope that, hope that was helpful for you. I'm just going to show you in a minute what I've been knitting recently with Chunky Yarn. And yes, I mean, I do have a lot of needles, but you can switch out which ones you want to use. Basically, you follow what it says on the pattern. And then if you're not following your pattern, you would probably follow what it says on the ball band. And if you're not following what it says on the ball band because you want to create, be creative, you can just go for it. Give yourself the opportunity to just try things out, experiment and see what happens. You've got a better idea now of what will happen with different sizes um, just from watching the video today. So here we are. This is what I've been knitting recently. I've been knitting chunky headbands. This is ideal for autumn. It's not quite wintry yet, but you feel like it's certainly the time of year to start wearing some knitwear. These are ideal because it's just keeping you warm around your ears and the top of your head, but not quite covering you all up completely. Adds a bit of colour as well. Um, and then I've also been knitting this long scarf, this long lace scarf. That was with a lovely mohair chunky yarn that you've seen before. I've showed it to you before. It's um, Rowan um, Cocoon. So I love this one. It may be mohair. I sometimes find mohair too itchy, but this one is really nice and soft. So there you go. You can go ahead, knit, be creative, experiment with what you like. And you've got an idea of which needles you need to use now for chunky yarn. Right, I'll see you next week. Like I said, go and have a look at the 101 playlist. If you subscribe, you'll find it easier to um, find in my channel. And let me know in the comments what you've been knitting recently with Chunky Yarn. Right, I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.